what's up everyone welcome back to my channel again for another video if you are new here welcome hope you enjoy definitely subscribe stay a while and if you are returning thank you so much for coming back you are so appreciated so for today i wasn't gonna start the vlog today also i don't know what this camera angle is but we just we're gonna have to make it work for now because i'm driving um but i decided to start the vlog today instead of tomorrow because I don't know I just wanted to start it today and include a few extra things so this weekend for my I'm doing a little vloggy vlog and we are having my other friends wedding another wedding y'all so I feel like I'm doing everything all over again <laughs> I mean I've been like getting my nails done and stuff but I gotta get my nails done that's actually where I'm heading right now I'm heading to the nail salon so I wanted to include like a little bit of that stuff i also got my lashes done i'll show you guys a little bit later um because like i said i'm driving i'm trying to pay attention there's a little bit of traffic um but yeah i got my lashes done last night and they did a pretty good job or she did a pretty good job i got the volume lashes again since um you know since i'm in a wedding again the last time it just worked out the best for the occasion and so I wanted a little extra volume for this time around as well and then um, I'm going to get my nails done right now later on I'm gonna try if you know I have the time hopefully I do because I don't know when else I'm gonna have the time really but if I have the time I'm gonna try to go get a pedicure later on today so that's pretty much on the list for today and then tomorrow I have my hair appointment and the rehearsal is tomorrow so oh I also need to find time at some point either today or tomorrow to also go get my brows done i just need to get them threaded because i just need to get them threaded it's been a while i feel like i don't know the last time i got them threaded but i feel like it's been a while and they're kind of grown in i tried to like pluck some parts um but yeah they're pretty grown in so i do want to go and try to get that done as well which that's not something i need to like make an appointment for or anything i can just go when I have a second and it doesn't take long um but yeah i'll catch up with y'all when i get to the nail salon and y'all can probably see my my fall decorating i mean decorating my fall decorations in the back because i'm actually filming two videos today so you know we're getting things done but if, you, if i look the same <laughs> in my other video actually you'll see that video before you see this one it's my fall shop with me slash decorate with me so if you haven't checked that out i will link it somewhere up there um check that out if you haven't not already but yes i'm also shopping around for some last minute like fall decor things i'm like way late in the game with doing this but it's okay even if they're just up for like the next month i'm okay with that and it's things that i'll be able to keep as well for next year so it's whatever but yeah i'm rambling now i'm talking a lot so we're just gonna head to the nail salon Anyways, as y'all saw, I left the nail salon and she did a good job. She did a really good job. I mean, she always does a good job. So, I found out what her name was. This whole time, I've been pronouncing her name wrong. Um, but her name is Anise. Anise. Um, and I go to Cosmic Nails, by the way. Um, Cosmic Nail. I think it's just Cosmic Nails. I don't think it's Cosmic Nail Bar. I might just be making the bar part up. But yeah, Cosmic Nails. It's in like South End if you're in the Charlotte area. But anyways, um, I'm leaving there now. And 
I decided that I'm gonna add on to my list of things to do today. I wanted to go to, or I want to go, I'm heading there now, to Trader Joe's because I've been holding back until today to go to Trader Joe's to just get a bunch of their fall treats, basically. Like, I don't need to go grocery shopping. There's nothing, no basic groceries that I need. Like, I'm specifically wanting to go there just so I can buy a bunch of fall treats, a bunch of seasonal treats snacks desserts whatever they have to try them out like that's what i'm gonna go do so i'm on the way there now i'm gonna take y'all with me and i'll show y'all like what i end up getting when i get home because yeah i'll just so show y'all when i get home what i got and then besides that i don't think i'm doing anything else for today like i said i might stop by and get my eyebrows threaded that's what i usually do to them but besides that I mean there's not really anything to show like I said it's really quick I mean most people I feel like sh know should know what I brought threaten is at this point it's not really a new thing but yeah I just prefer threading over waxing because my skin is more sensitive I don't mind waxing every once in a while like it's fine if I have to like whenever I go and get my eyebrows um tinted or is that what it's called tinted yeah and laminated um she waxes them um my mom she waxes them but i don't like doing that all the time like in between when i get them um laminated and stuff i just get them threaded so anyways that's probably what i'll all i'll do for the rest of the day and then tomorrow like i said i have my hair appointment in the morning and we'll see where else the day takes us so yeah, let's go to Trader Joe's. Okay, y'all. So I'm back now from Trader Joe's and a couple other errands, but I wanted to show you guys everything. I'm cutting my head off. I wanted to show you guys everything that I ended up getting. And yeah, so I feel like I'm maybe maybe it's because I'm a little late to the game or something because I feel like the Trader Joe's that I went to was they didn't have as much as I thought they were gonna have like I feel like I got a good amount of stuff but I didn't ball out like I thought I was gonna be balling out so anyways I'm gonna show y'all what I got because I did most of everything actually I got is um things that I haven't tried before so let me just show y'all so the first thing I picked up is this pumpkin brioche. I don't know how to say this. Brioche twist bread. And it looks really good. It's a classic French style brioche with a hint of warm spices. Mm. Mm. I got something that I wanted to try this with. Um, let me just show y'all. So I have actually tried this before this um cookie butter what's it called cookie butter spread i want to try this on this that might be sugar overload but i feel like it might be good i'm gonna try it um the bread i haven't tried before but i have tried the cookie butter and i love it this isn't really like fall but i feel like they might have this every uh like all year i don't know if it's seasonal or not the next thing i got is this bread and muffin mix pumpkin bread and muffin mix I've just been into making like muffins and breads. Well, I haven't made any breads yet, but I've been into making like muffins or having muffins or breads like here. So that is something quick that we could just grab and eat for breakfast or take on the go or whatever. Um, so yeah, like right now I have some muffins that 
We need to finish actually. The next thing I got were these petite pumpkin spice cookies. And these looked fun. They're shortbread cookies. Ooh, shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. You just gonna walk in my video like that? And then the next thing I got, I'm really excited about these. The pumpkin flavored JoJo's. JoJo's. They are pumpkin flavored sandwich cream cookies with the natural with other natural flavors. I'm excited about that. I feel like that's gonna be good. I feel like it's gonna be like a pumpkin Oreo. And then I got some non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage. I don't really know. I just got this to try it, honestly. I mean, I probably could use it in my coffees, um, but I just got it to try it. We'll see. Depending on how it tastes, um, I'll decide how I want to drink it. So I decided to get um, a couple of soups. I don't know if these are like, see well, I, I know this second one isn't seasonal, but this one might be seasonal because it is pumpkin, but <clears throat> I like soup all throughout the year not just in the fall or the winter time i just like soup so i decided to try this pumpkin bisque soup it looks really good it says that it's a creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices so i'm excited to try that maybe with some bread or rolls or something it just sounds good and then i also got um some organic creamy tomato soup i like tomato soup so every once in a while i like creamy potato soup I said potato, tomato, you know what I meant. And then I've also had this before to the cornbread crisp. I just like these as a little snack. They're pretty good. Um, also really good with um, chili, like if you make chili, really good. I know some people do like um, saltines or cornbread. I feel like this is like a combination because they're kind of salty but they have that like sweetness of cornbread but they're like crispy it's good it is good and then okay this one was definitely a um risk i should say it's the pumpkin tortilla chips i'm gonna try it right now i don't know how this is gonna taste tortilla chip and pumpkin they smell good. They don't smell that weird. They're actually pretty good. With some salsa. Hmm. These aren't bad at all. It's actually pretty good. It's like a salty tortilla chip, but it's just with like a hint of something. But I feel like it would be really good with, um... Salsa. so i'm gonna be snacking on those later and then the last couple of things i got i just got some pumpkin pie spice because i don't know if i have any um like pumpkin or i know i have i know i have um like nutmeg and i probably do have pumpkin pie spice to be honest but it's okay we got more now and then the last thing I got, it's not seasonal, but I just needed some granola. So I got some almond butter granola. And, well, that's not the last thing I got. That's the last food item I got for us humans. And then I also got this um, little dog treat. I've seen this um, from other people. And I feel like everyone says their dogs like it. So I got this for my pup. My puppers, it's the better than leftovers or sorted flavor dog treats. And they're like kind of soft too. So I'm gonna see if he likes these. And then the last things that I got are all of these florals. So I'm about to put together a little arrangement, if you will.
It felt like I actually met you. Good morning everyone, it's the next day, obviously, um, I'm looking crazy right now because I blow dried my hair and then I put it, I put this scrunchie around it so that's why it has like a bend, but I swear when I blow, blow dry my hair it looks so straight, like not straight straight but like it looks really straight for blow drying it and then as soon as I step outside it just like puffs back up. So now I feel like it looks all fluffy, but she always goes in and like blow dries it a little bit more before she starts styling it. So anyways, I'm heading to my hair appointment now. Um, yesterday evening after, I think the last thing I showed you guys was my Trader Joe's stuff. Um, I tried, we, we tried some of them. The little um, cookies with the cream filling, they're basically like pumpkin flavored Oreos, like vanilla Oreos. They're pretty good though. They're very um, pumpkins. Like they're very, not. I want to say spicy, but not like spicy, but like you can really taste the pumpkin and whatever else they use in it, nutmeg, whatever, the spices in it. So they're very good. Um, the other little cookies are pretty good as well. The ones that were like yogurt coating or whatever, those are really good as well. Um, those tortilla chips, they low-key slap. It's like you would think that they were, they would be weird, but they're kind of good. Like with salsa, those things are good. I only tried like one of each cookie and like a couple of the chips just because we just wanted to try everything <laughs> to see. And then this morning, I actually tried the um, brioche bread. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but the pumpkin twist bread or whatever it's called. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend I had it with my coffee as you guys saw I made my little iced coffee this morning and that bread was so good I just put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds I was about to say 10 minutes 10 seconds just to just to like warm it up a little bit but it's really good like I just ate it plain but I think it would be really good with that cookie butter on it also if you want like it kind of reminds me of French toast like if you don't want to actually make french toast like you could just get that um toasted or warm it up in the microwave or however you want to warm it up and then put some maple syrup or whatever syrup you like that's an easy french toast right there that's what it reminded me of french toast but it was just the bread so good like i would definitely if i go back to trader joe's and they still or when i go back to trader joe's and they still have that i'm probably gonna buy another loaf because it was delicious I wish I brought like two slices because I only brought one and I ate it and it was gone in like a second in two bites it was gone but it's okay I got my coffee and yeah so yeah I'm heading to get my hair done now um we had a little bit of a where we have a little bit of a change in our plans for today it's gonna be a very fast paced busy on the go kind of day so i'm going to try to show as much as i can um but yeah i got a little bit of a surprise to show you guys later so definitely stay tuned for that but yeah i'll catch up with y'all when i am done with my hair um and i'm probably gonna try to go get a pedicure after that hopefully i will have enough time but yeah i'll catch up with y'all later all right hey guys <laughs> I'm a new person once again. I am back. I'm me again. Okay. So I left. Get my hair done. She did amazing. 
I feel like this. Just kidding. But no, she did a really good job. Per usual, she did a great job last time, so I expected nothing less. Um, but we decided to go with, so I was kind of in between a side part or straight back. Um, we decided to go with straight back and a mid pony because last time I did a low pony so she's like let's switch it up and then I got a little bit of a curl as well I'm hoping I'm praying to God that these curls last for tomorrow I'm gonna try flexi riding them tonight like overnight and yeah hopefully they are thought they're about to hit me in the back so hopefully they will last um and still you know look good for tomorrow but she really did her thing i'm telling you she be getting my hair sleek like how how who are you i feel like i look older um so yeah i left and i was so hungry um i stopped at wendy's and i got me some chicken nuggets and some french fries and a strawberry lemonade it's something about wendy's <laughs> french fries this is dangerous I'm not taking that chance if I can't see down the road. Nah, this is dangerous. I'm gonna just wait. So, yes, I went and got something to eat. And then I stopped at the post office because I had to drop something off or like return something. So now I am on the way to the nail salon to get a pedicure. Um, originally, I was gonna wait until after the rehearsal. The rehearsal is like in an hour and a half so we'll see if I make it there on time I'm really trying so I'm hoping they can do my pedicure within an hour get me in and out and I'll be good to go because the rehearsal is at 3 it's like 1 30 right now and so yeah I'm kind of rushing to get there but I really need a pedicure so originally I was gonna go and get a pedicure after the rehearsal but I guess I might as well just tell y'all because y'all gonna know I'll probably have it in the title but we are getting a new puppy and I'm so excited this is a hundred percent my boyfriend's idea but I am still excited about her it's gonna be a little girl and we're, we were supposed to pick her up this weekend well the person that we um, get have gotten both of our dogs now from she is having another litter and her other dog uh, was delivering early like yesterday and so she messaged us like hey is there any way that you guys can come and get your puppy earlier um because you know she just for one she's gonna have like a bunch of new puppies but then also like she doesn't want the mom of the new puppies to be territorial or aggressive towards our puppy because she you know she's a little bit bigger and yeah so so we're gonna try to go today so that's why I have to squeeze in a pedicure before the rehearsal so that way we can go we can leave straight after the rehearsal to go and pick her up so I'm excited but it's just like a lot like a lot like this day is jammed packed when I told y'all that this morning, I was not lying. But I'm excited though. Hopefully we can get her and get back in a good time. Um, the place that we are going to, she is, I think, in Denton, Denton, North Carolina. Um, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe around there. I've never heard of it until we went and got Princeton. Princeton is my bigger puppy. <laughs> He's still a puppy. He's not one yet, but he's my bigger puppy. Um, my son, my boy. Um, but yeah, that's where we got him. And it's like, it's about maybe an hour, 45 minutes to an hour away from Charlotte, if you're in the Charlotte area. So it's really not a bad drive. I feel like if you want, like, I feel like most breeders, if you want a good breeder, like, and to not like pay a ton, um, an hour drive isn't bad because I know like some people like my uncle he got his dog from like a whole different state and had to basically they shipped him <laughs> they shipped him shipped my cousin to him um 
so yeah i'm happy we didn't have to do that or anything and the lady that we work with she is like really she's really nice she's she's really good to them like it's definitely not any i there's no question about like any wrongdoing to her puppies or her dogs or anything like i think she really just genuinely enjoys what she does <laughs> she's like an older lady so but yeah she takes really good care of them but i do understand her um concerns with having the new puppies now and, and of course she doesn't even know how many they're gonna be if they're, she has a lot then that's a lot of responsibility so i can imagine but yeah we're gonna try to go pick her up literally we don't even have everything for her like her crate is supposed to be here tomorrow and then we still have to put it together i luckily got like a little bed for her just like a little cheap one because i don't know if she's gonna be a chewer or not so i just got like a little cheap bed dog bed and then for them i mean it's a little bit easier because we do have a puppy that's not even a year old yet we still have a lot of the things that we used for him so we didn't have to completely just buy like everything brand new but i still wanted her to have some of her own things you know but I'm excited. Hopefully, like I said, we can get her a get back at a decent time. And then we may try to go get her like a collar because I want to get her, um, I want to see how big she is first before getting her collar. Because we did with Princeton, we got his collar and it ended up being too big and we had to go buy another one for him to wear. So I want to wait until we get her because I feel like they look bigger in pictures than <laughs> when we actually got Princeton. He was so tiny. So we'll see um but yeah we'll talk more about the puppers later but like i said it was 100 percent my boyfriend's idea i'm just here for the ride <laughs> just here for the ride okay but yeah i'm going to the nail salon now i'll catch up with y'all when i get there also so i don't forget to tell y'all because i don't think i told y'all just now but the girl that does my hair or does my ponytails her instagram is the queen effect it's queen spelled q w e n so definitely look her up because sis slays my hair every time i'm already planning my next look honey already planning it so definitely check her out she does an amazing job you can check her instagram out you can book through there all that good stuff so okay bye y'all <laughs> okay y'all long time no see i need to hurry up because this battery is getting ready to die i do have another battery just in case though but i literally had to rush to the rehearsal um i made a stop at um no i didn't make a stop so after i got my nails done that's when y'all saw me last <laughs> after i got my nails done i literally went to the gas station and drove straight there um, because I didn't have time to stop anywhere and like literally there was traffic So I'm SWAT team Everybody was blocking me from getting there on time. So I was a little bit late, which I felt really bad about I did apologize though and I mean they seemed like okay with it, but I just know that if it was me I would be upset about that, you know, but I didn't make it in time to at least like go through everything one time and Like I said before. Well, I don't know if I said it on here um, this isn't my first wedding that I've been in, so I kind of know the gist of things. I just needed to see the location so I could see, like, where I need to be, that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, so that went well. Then I had to go back home, and I met up with Kenny, and we got our pooter butt back there. Princeton! There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he's back there he has no idea what's going on but we are going to pick up our puppers our new puppers our baby girl and this feels like deja vu because I remember when we first picked Princeton up and we were driving down this highway did we come this way oh we didn't come down this highway it was a different highway apparently but I remember when we went to go pick him up I was so nervous because I had never been a dog parent before. Never really had a pet, period, except for like 
some goldfish that probably only stayed alive for a couple weeks but I never really had a pet growing up so that was my first time being like a pet parent so I was really nervous about that but I feel like I'm nervous for going from one dog to two just because and they're both puppies still um, it just seems like a bigger responsibility but I'm not nervous about being a dog mom if that makes sense like I feel like we did a really good job in the 10 months that Princeton has been alive we've done and even less than that that we've had him we've done a really good job with training him and he's just such a good boy so I'm not nervous about being a mom to another dog I think that we're, we're gonna be great parents dog parents and you know she's gonna be trained before we know it but I'm just nervous about the doing it for two dogs not just one now so yeah I'll try to show you guys when we get there it's probably gonna be um, a quick exchange because like we may not be able to go inside and stuff like we did last time just because um, she has another dog that just had puppies and so obviously they need to be separated and like mom might be kind of territorial right and so we may not be able to go inside but we'll see how it is when we get there and if I'm not able to record like while we're picking her up then I'll just like show you guys once we get back into the car and yeah I think that's everything I wanted to say it's a gloomy a rainy day out here which kind of sucks but <laughs> I feel like I've been pretty productive. I mean, I've had to be pretty productive, but besides the gloomy raininess, I feel like, you know, I've been alert. Usually when it's gloomy and rainy, I just feel not productive and just tired and, you know, how that weather is. But I feel like I've been up and on the go. I've been on top of things. I've been late, but I've been on top of things. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'll see y'all later. Y'all, Princeton back there, I mean, it's back there going crazy, nuts. He's like, I know she's up there. I haven't really gotten to meet her. Like, what are y'all doing? He's back there going crazy. Hopefully he'll calm down. But we got, how long? An hour and 15 to go back, so. But yes, this is Ivy Girl. I'll show y'all um, some more of her when, once we get home, but. She looks so much bigger on camera. I promise y'all she is so tiny. She's just, I got a little um, pee pad because I don't know how trained she is. And with Princeton, I had like a little blanket, but um, I didn't bring, down. huh? I said he done laid down. Oh, he did? Maybe he forgot her. You all right? Oh, Princeton finally laid down. I guess he's like, oh, well, I'm not getting up there. So let me just go chill out. <laughs> Unless he forgot that she was here. Maybe he thinks that we dropped her off or something. I don't know if he can see see her. Um, but yeah, anyways, she looks so big on camera, but I feel like she's so tiny. She's a little bit bigger, I feel like, when, when than Princeton was. She's when older, we got him. We got yeah, she is eight older. Weeks. I mean, she's, eight weeks. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's eight, eight weeks, weeks, and we got Princeton at six weeks. She's eight weeks, and we got Princeton at six. I don't know if I said that right. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Ivy and Princeton. My girl, look at her. You sleeping? Hi, girl. 
My pretty girl. We're gonna have to give her another bath. Miss Donna says she bathed her, but you know, I like to use my smell good stuff and whatnot. So, I don't know. Snow metal phones, poodles, and doodles. Yes, if you are in the Carolinas, I would say, or Virginia. I mean, depending, yeah, or Virginia, depending on how far you're willing to drive, um, you can look her Facebook page up if you're interested. Um, she has most mainly standard poodles um, or golden doodles, standard in minis. So if you're interested in a poodle or a poodle mix, basically, um, definitely check her Facebook out. What is it again? Stone Meadow Farms. Poodles and Doodles. Stone Meadow Farms. Poodles and Doodles. Thank you, girl. She's kissing. She's giving me kisses. Thank you, girl. You're so sweet to me. Now you about to start chewing on my head. My, uh, what's it called? Scrunchie. No, she didn't. She's so sweet. Miss Donna says she loves cuddling, which is the opposite of where Princeton is. He loves to play and just be moving around. So she's about to be my sidekick. I hope you don't grow out of cuddling. I want you to cuddle with me all the time. Thank you, girl. She's so sweet, giving me kisses. Um, I mean, she feels safe with me already. She's just so sweet. Now you're chewing on my head, scarf. I mean, why well, I keep saying scarf? My scrunchie. All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all back when we get. I'll catch up with y'all when we get back to the house. It's the end of the night. I look very fair skin right now. And I'm exhausted, I'm tired, we're tired. And I'm about to go to sleep. I'm about to get ready for bed and go to sleep. But I wanted to show you guys the puppers in their cute outfits, their cute sweaters. And they're getting along so well. Princeton, Ivy. They're not worried about me. Hi, girl. Hi, guys. Oh, Preston, you're smacking her. But yeah, I'm not doing anything else for tonight except getting ready for bed because I have to be up pretty early tomorrow. I'm gonna try to tie my hair up and make it last. I'm gonna put some flexi rods in the back, but yeah. I'll catch y'all in the morning because I'm tired. You guys love each other already. Morning, y'all. It is. It's kind of dark over here. The next day, Get my baby girl sleeping. I just came downstairs. I was down here earlier, but we fed her, we took her out, fed her, and I gave her some water. What you sheeping? She's such a good girl. She be barking though. She's getting up now because she sees me. <laughs> She's such a good girl though. So I'm heading out this morning. Um, Kind of in a rush, kind of not. I mean, I'm always in a rush, right? Um, but I gotta take them out, the peppers out first. So I think I'm gonna take her out first. I brought all my stuff downstairs. I got my dress. It's wedding day, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I need to make sure they're taken care of before I leave. And then I did. Kind of eat breakfast this morning. I ate a little bit, some a little bit of something for breakfast. So I'm thinking I might want to stop and get a smoothie. That's what I want. What's on this TV? Let me turn it off. Um, if I can buy them up. But yeah, I think I might stop and get a smoothie on the way to the bridal suite because I don't know. That's kind of just what I'm feeling. I need to get some coffee because 
that's what I need in my system, but I really want some, um, I really want a smoothie, so I think I'm going to stop and get a smoothie from somewhere. I'm going to see what the closest smoothie place in that area is. If there's like, I don't know, Smoothie King, Tropical Smoothie, I don't care. She's drinking her water now. Anyways, I will um catch up with y'all. Well, let's take her outside first. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm in the car. I didn't show y'all me taking out baby girl because it's kind of stressful trying to take a not yet trained puppy and my other puppy out. Like to take both of them out. I took them out separately, but it was just it was just a little stressful. So. I took her out first but honestly I probably need to start taking him out first because she's still trying to get the concept of like oh when I go outside that's my time to use the bathroom you know Princeton will go outside and use the bathroom right away pee right away if he has to poop he'll poop but then he'll and then he'll like look around and smell around and try to say hi to everybody walking by but baby girl didn't she just didn't know so we're just out there and she didn't end up peeing so probably gonna be coming home to a mess later well my boyfriend's gonna be home before me well I'm not gonna be home until tonight but like he'll be home before then so um he's probably gonna be going home to a mess I'm on the way to um the suite now the bridal suite I went to tropical smoothie even though I really need some coffee Ooh, these are some nice um I don't know what they are apartments I guess very nice um, even though I really need a coffee, <laughs> I really wanted a smoothie, so I got a smoothie and I got one for the bride. She got the acai berry boost. I've never tried that, but it sounds good. And then I got the avocado lotta. This is my first time trying this one as well. And it's actually pretty good. Like, it's a, it's a good green smoothie. It's good. It doesn't, um, I don't know. Maybe it does taste like avocado a little bit, but not really. I think there's pineapple in here, and I'm tasting more of that and the coconut. There's coconut in here, too. So, that's what I'm tasting, but it's really good. But, yeah, on the way to the bridal suite now. And I think that's all I had to tell y'all. I got my hair in these flexi rods. I hope I, I don't know how good of a job I did. Um, my hair lasted or held up pretty well. My sideburns are kind of messed up a little bit, but they're not terrible, honestly. So I don't know if I will leave them like this or if I might try to fix them a little bit. But the makeup artist probably should have just gotten there and she's probably starting on the first girl now. And then, yeah, so we're gonna go and get our makeup done. And same as last time, you know, I'll show bits and pieces from like here and there but like I don't want to be too personal like especially like in the bridal suite and obviously during the wedding I'm in the wedding so I can't really record that but I will definitely show you guys um a little bit after during the reception time I'll be able to record a little more hopefully we'll see um I'll get as much as I can, but I don't want to do too much, you know. I don't want to be too invasive with my camera. Um, but I did get permission to record a little bit here and there. I'll show you guys once I get to the bridal suite what is going on, what we're doing. I'll show you guys a little bit of my makeup. Um, probably going to get a lunch, not a lunch, a snack, <laughs> a lunch. Probably going to get a snack because... Even though I ate this morning, I'm like kind of snackish. Kind of hungry a little bit. Not good. No point, no way. Yeah. I'll catch up with y'all a little bit later once I get to this week.
she is done with my makeup. She did so good. Let me find the elevator. She did such a great job. I still got my flexi rods in. I'm heading downstairs right now because I'm trying to find some coffee. Y'all know I got a smoothie, which is gone now. And I need some coffee to get me through the rest of the day because it's going to be a long day. A long rest of the day. But we're making really good time right now. Um, where's the elevator? We're making really good time right now. Just finished makeup. So, yeah, I'm gonna run and grab some coffee and come back up. and I'm probably this is probably gonna be the last thing I take out before we leave here but, yeah. yes ma'am We married off another one of my friends. She's not in here right now, but I'll show y'all her later. She looks beautiful. Wasn't it a beautiful wedding? It was a beautiful wedding. I was wedding. telling them that we just married off another one of our friends. Yes. And I'm so happy for Brittany. Mm -hmm. Cry. Yes. And let me show y'all her dresses. It turned out really nice. This mirror is beautiful. But yeah, I'll catch up with y'all at the reception. Hello? day after the wedding we had an amazing time right Absolutely. it was a great time a great wedding i'm looking outside see who's out there oh y'all hear that i'm singing for y'all overall it was an amazing wedding an amazing time it was just a beautiful location just great vibes i'll start again great vibes like it was just a great time 
a great time. We're about to make some breakfast now. And today we are supposed to be going to the park. Um, the bride and groom, they're having like a little cookout, day after cookout um, with friends and family. So we're gonna go meet up with them and I think I'm gonna take Ivy too so I can kind of get her socializing with other human beings, maybe other dogs. I don't know if there's gonna be other dogs there, but not so much other dogs because she's not vaccinated yet. But just like getting her out in public because I don't want her to be out in public barking at everybody she see walk by. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll probably take her. And also we're still like potty training, so I feel like that'll be a good chance to potty train. So like every time she uses the bathroom, we can like praise her and give her a treat or whatever. So probably gonna take her, most likely will. But yeah, we're making breakfast. Um, I'm just so happy that I could be a part of the experience yesterday with all of my friends. Like it's just such a privilege to be able to be a part of their special moments like that. And we just had a really, really good time. So. If you're watching this, Britt and Aaron, thank you and congratulations again. And we love you and wish you nothing, you both nothing but the best in your married life. The very best. The very best, Kenny said. Um, but yeah, we're going to make some breakfast now. I'll show y'all what we make once we are done. And then we're going to get ready to head out to the cookout later. All right, y'all. Breakfast is done. We just made the little brioche pumpkin spice bread, I think it is. We made it into like a French toast. We got some turkey bacon and some scrambled eggs with cheese and veggies. Great. Looks delicious. Bon appetit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why is that so good, Hey, Donna. Hey. Hey, Double D. Do you think I look good as a blonde? Um, I think I like your darker hair better. It would be kind of cute if you maybe went like a little more brown. Have you ever done really? highlights or anything? I have. Mm. I feel like I could see you with some elevation. Hi, Blair. Hi. We got our shirts on and we're heading. Do I got donut residue? <laughs> we're heading to the park and we got my baby girl Ivy with me. I mean, with us. Yeah, you coming to the park with us. My baby girl. You gonna meet all the friends? Well, the human friends, not dog friends, because you're not old enough yet. You're not old enough. But yeah, we're going to the park. I'll see y'all when we get there. later in the night now I just wanted to come on and end this video um, this weekend has been so much fun these past I think I vlogged for like three or four days now um, but it's just been the best time like this is like literally a weekend that I'm gonna look back on and just have like great memories about it was just overall just a, a weekend filled with love and just blessings we just had a great time with you know family it, it was just an amazing time overall celebrating um, my friends Brittany and Aaron and their union and it was just an amazing weekend um, but yes I'm so tired right now I'm getting ready to go to sleep but I just realized that I, I almost forgot that I did not end this video so I wanted to come on and thank you guys for watching um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. And if you are not already, definitely make sure you are subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.